Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd. Look, this video I've got planned right now, it's slightly different than my usual videos. I've encountered a situation that I'd love to hear comments on. So instead of printing something, I'm gonna tell you about something. You ready? Go. All right, I got a little story for you. You ready? Here it goes. On January 6th, 2015, Ultimaker published a video to their YouTube channel called Ultimaker 3D Printing. How does 3D printing work? The video shows a man at a desk sketching a spaceship design on some paper, then on the computer, loading that same spaceship design into Cura, saving it to an SD card, and finally printing it on an Ultimaker 2 printer. The video is short, it's a minute 33, and it really gives the viewer an idea that 3D printing is fairly simple, especially when done on an Ultimaker printer. On August 14th, 2014, GCreate published a thing to Thingiverse called GCreate Official Rocket Ship. As of this video, it has been viewed more than 19,000 times and downloaded just shy of 6,000 times. This model was uploaded to Thingiverse under a Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike license. This means anyone is free to copy and redistribute the model in any format, including printing a real-world copy of it, so long as appropriate credit is given, and a link to the Creative Commons license that that model was released under is also posted. What I noticed, and what is ultimately the basis for this video, is that the spaceship Ultimaker is using in its video is the same rocket ship published by GCreate five months prior to Ultimaker publishing the video. Plus, Ultimaker gives no credit and does not link to the Creative Commons license for the model it used. In the description of the video, Ultimaker talks about its printers, its software, its filament, and links to all of its accounts on various social media platforms. It fails to mention GCreate, the Creative Commons license, or Thingiverse. The title of this video is also the first question I'd like to ask you. Is Ultimaker evil? Is this a large company throwing its weight around, letting people know it can do whatever it wants to whomever it wants? Is Ultimaker relying on the perception of itself in the industry in order to get away with something? Or is Ultimaker neutral? Is this not an inherently evil act within the maker community and merely someone essentially forgetting to dot an I? Or is Ultimaker good? You'll notice in the Ultimaker video, during the time-lapse footage of the spaceship printing, you see the GCreate logo on the spaceship front and center. Is this Ultimaker being sly and giving a nod to the company that created the model they are using? I would love to hear what you guys have to think. As someone who has personally designed 3D models for printing, I would be over the moon excited if a large company decided to use my models in its marketing materials. However, as someone who designs those same 3D models for printing, if they forgot to mention me, give me appropriate credit, or misuse the Creative Commons license that I released the models in, then I would be upset and I wouldn't think that's very fair. I've put all the required links down in the description. That includes the link to the Ultimaker video and the link to the thing on Thingiverse. This is an interesting video that is slightly controversial in that it's discussing a model and the licensing for the model. So down below in the comments, please let me know what you have to think about this situation. Let's start a good dialogue. Let's get a conversation going. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. We'll be back to regularly scheduled programming next video. And as always, high five.